talking about Leno lately. Yeah. Um, Conan's another name you just don't hear. No. You know, there's so much chatter about Leno leaving and Fallon promotion, Myers coming in, Jimmy Kimmel moving to 11:30, Letterman has contract extension, but Conan, I mean, where does he stand in the current landscape? Well, right? he's uh, he stands tall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, he's just there now. I mean, it's partly it's you know he's on a network, um, TBS, mm -hmm. right? I don't know how many people we got here, but. Uh, Thousands. <laughs> it's hard to see with the lights, but, but there are 6,500. Let, let me just ask, how many people here know what number TBS is on your cable dial? Right? Oh, I got one. Well, virtually nobody. One knows. person works for Time Warner. Okay. <laughs> and, and, and that's the problem. That's the problem is, he, I think he still does a funny show. Yeah. But he's like, he's like in the sticks, you know? And, and those channels, Turner's channels, they're based in Atlanta. Yeah. And that, I know, I, I don't want to be like New York and LA centric, but if you're in Atlanta, you're out of it. You're not in the mainstream. And he's sort of not, and he's doing the show in LA, but it's just not, and, and it, I have a scene in the book when he's first pitched to go to TBS. He and his manager are like, well, what do we know about TBS? And they're sitting with his agent and his producer, and he said, well, you know, I don't know. Well, what do you know about TBS? Well, why don't we put it on and see what's on? Let's just turn it on. And they said, well, okay, what channel is it? I don't know. What channel is it? What channel? And they call the guy's assistant in. What channel is TBS? They, nobody knows. Wow. And I thought, Conan, that was a sign. Yeah. <laughs> that was a sign right there. So, so although he's still there, he doesn't get talked about. Like, you don't see his jokes being cited, you know, sure, when right. they, even though some of his monologue jokes, uh, they still send me his monologue every night, printed out. And... You know, if you read jokes, they're not really that funny. His jokes are often really fun. They're very well written yeah, jokes. Great writers, yeah. They're very well written jokes. And Send I a couple of them to Scott. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I yeah, just, yeah, I'm yeah. impressed by that. But he, he's, but he's not. He's, he's below the radar, and it's too bad. I think he's this enormously talented guy, and I like him. I've had a great relationship with him. But I also think he is a guy who's been scarred for life. Yeah. And. He has to stop picking the scab, you know? You know, you mentioned Conan. Letterman was his guy. Conan was my guy growing up. And I share your colleague Jason Zinneman's assessment. Well, he wrote an article last year, I think, about how Conan moved to TBS, you know, at the Time Show debacle. He had a chance to completely remake yes. the show, to make some yes. fresh and new. And, and he, he clung to this Tonight Show weeks. format. Yes. And that is surprising. surprising. That is surprising. At this uh, point. I mean, I. He could double whatever he wanted. He had a new network, a you yeah. know, full, full run of the house over there. But I think he, he thought he had something to prove. Like, uh, I'm going to do this show, and you'll see. I could have done The Tonight Show. It'll be better than The Tonight Show. What's the point? Yeah. yeah. Even just his, his desire to get the show was wrong, because The Tonight Show it really was not right for him in, in, in a lot of ways. He's not a traditional guy. Right. I, I, thought, I thought all along that he was misjudging uh, his career a little bit because when he was really hot, Fox Network came after him and they offered him a big deal at the time. He was making like six million dollars and they offered him twenty-one million dollars. That's a pretty good deal. This is why I'm doing his dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I'm liking it better yeah. and better now. <laughs> Only for the money. And he and he instead of taking that, he said, "No, I'll take this deal. NBC's offered me to park my career for five years, waiting, you know, and then and then they'll give me the show." It, it just was a bad decision, I think. I, I, I don't know if this was really discussed in full ever, but was there ever an opportunity for Conan to do what Fallon did, bring The Tonight Show to New York? Maybe keep Lorne Michaels as ZP? I mean, was that a critical mistake? Well, he, he didn't, I don't think he asked to keep The Tonight Show in New York, which I, I thought Conan was great in New York. He had much more yeah. electricity in New York. And then there was a very interesting sort of conflict over Lorne Michaels, who still had an executive producer title right. on Conan's show, even though he really had long since. But, but he handpicked him when he was a 30-year-old exactly. unknown writer. And Lorne is Lorne. You, you really still need to pay attention yeah. if, if you know that business. And they, there was a talk about, well, should we still keep Lorne, give him a credit, and send him a check every week, right? <laughs> Lorne doesn't need the check, but he's never missed one. Yeah, <laughs> and and uh, so they d and they decided no, let's not. And they took and I thought, boy, you've, not only did you make a mistake in not having his advice, really, which could have helped him, 
but you needed him in the corner, you know, protecting you. And yeah, I think that was also not a good decision. It's an amazing that this alternate history you can imagine of Conan staying in New York with the Tonight Show with yeah. Lorne Michaels, and who knows? I mean, he, who knows? I wouldn't have a book. That sounds very really bad. <laughs> yeah, not a good, not a good very history bad. for you. <laughs> Back in 93, when he was picked to take over late night, what was the media reaction? What was your reaction uh, to this unknown guy, uh, which is so different from now when Seth Meyers gets the job, this guy who's been on TV for 10 yeah. years? Well, it's almost it's comprehensible yeah. that they picked him. Because it wasn't just that he wasn't on television. He wasn't even a performer. Right. He was a writer. I mean, it's, it's so out of the, the norm to have picked him. And yes, he had a reputation at Saturday Night Live and and then on The Simpsons of being sort of a wild guy that made everybody laugh in the right of him. And, 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 but I think Lauren just decided, I don't want a conventional guy, I want a, an unconventional guy. And he, and he couldn't find anyone else. He did look around, but my reaction was, it's like a guy they took out of his basement who had been performing like, you know, for his, his cousins, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we've been there, we've been yeah. in the basement. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds so foreign to me, what you're <laughs> describing. <laughs> and it's dark, and there's yeah. just a few lights. Anyway, uh, so, so it, 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 but then I, when I first saw him, he, they had a press conference for him at the Rainbow Room in New York. And he's this 30-year-old kid, I mean, really, yeah. <laughs> totally young and, and so fresh-faced and everything. But he was charming. He was very, very charming. And I just, I just liked him. And so I thought, well, I, I don't know if he can do it, but it's worth rooting for him. I remember when I saw the test show that he that he did, which is what got on the job. I was like, I wouldn't have fired him because it was so awkward. He was this big gawky guy, and but you know, I I think he inher is an inherently very funny human being, and that eventually came out. Although he he's, he was on the razor's edge yeah. of being, being canceled. So well, I turned thirty this year, Bill. <laughs> you you better you better get moving. I gotta start. I gotta send Lauren some more fruit baskets. <laughs> Well, I could talk to you honestly all night about this and, and Brian, Brian Stelter on again. Everyone would be thrilled. But, yeah, sure. Except for you. So we got to get home. But uh, Bill Carter, thank you so much for being here. Read his books. Fantastic writer. Bill Carter.